Hey Phil, what's going on? Uh, this is Video Vixen, and this is my response to uh, this week's movie club uh, feature on Netflix, uh, House of Cards. Uh, Phil, first off, I have to say thank you very much for putting me onto the show. House of Cards is freaking amazing. Uh, Kevin Spacey, first of all, hands down, best acting that I've seen on a miniseries in a very long time. Um, you know, in the sense of, uh, like, a political drama. Like, this guy nails it on the head. I love the series. Like, the way it's shot and the story and the characters, all of them just do a very awesome job. Like, it's so believable. And I think especially when, you know, uh, Kevin Spacey's character, Francis Underwood, because <laughs> now I, like, know the shit off the top of my head. Like, this guy, like, when he's talking into the camera, he's, like, he's talking at you. I think those are the most hilarious uh, parts of the show and you know all the actors on there as I said do a very good job clean story it's crisp and you know it's like it feels so real in the sense of like how you see you know his character just like build his empire step by step and it's not even like he's doing it in a big elaborate way but he's doing it very secretly very sly and you know when he has to be abrasive and when he has to be like strong you know he kind of just plays his cards no pun intended, but, you know, it's kind of like it goes with the show. And, you know, he has to step over some people and he has to, like, get down and dirty. But at the end of the day, he does what he has to do in order to, you know, get on the top. And, you know, it's kind of like he's so manipulative and everybody just, like, falls into his web of lies and, you know, deceit. But at the same time, he always gets what he wants. And I think that's the most craziest part of the show. Uh, those are all the things that I like about the show. That's that I dislike. Um, I can't really find anything. I mean, as I said, the show is really amazing. And, you know, it's kind of like you want to find out what happens next, like how he's going to get up on somebody next. And, you know, when it comes to his wife and the reporter girl that he's messing around with, like, he's just, it's like he's playing chess with those in power. And he's, like, moving each piece where he has to. And this guy is so, like meticulous and he I don't know the show's amazing as I said the cast the way it looks everything I, I'm just happy that it's on Netflix and I'm only a couple episodes in but I can't wait to watch the whole series and just fall in love with it and appreciate it what it is it's beautiful and you know more stuff like this should be on Netflix more original stuff should be on Netflix like this and as I said I'm just happy that you put me onto it though. this thing is amazing <laughs> um, anyway that's it for my quick review of House of Cards. For those watching, everybody should watch this series and just fall in love with it and appreciate it for what it is. Uh, Alright, that's it. See you next time. Get out.